This is the question of percentage asked in UPSC CSET 2017. This is a good question. And nowadays, UPSC asks these kind of questions because here it's hard to find the direct answer through given data. Right. So here we have to guess. So the question is P is equal to 40% of A plus 65% of B. And Q is given 50% of A plus 50% of B. Where A is greater than B, they have given like A is greater than B. We know only this and we have two equations. So we have to find out uh, what which of the following statement is correct. So P is greater than Q, P, Q is greater than P, P is equal to Q, right? So now we have to tell the relationship between P and Q, right? We know only that A is greater than B, right? So it's hard to answer these questions directly. So here we will use the trial and error method, right? See, from this we know here in P we are using 40% of A and in Q we are using 50% of A. So we know like in the sections, like this will be greater. But the second part, 65% of V, this one, right? Here 65% of B and here 50%. If this would have been greater than this, then we have concluded about Q. But now we can't conclude about Q directly. So in this method, in this questions, we will consider value of A and B. Right. So what value generally we consider? So as we already told, like in the case of percentage, we will use the values like 100 or multiple of 100. So because we know A is greater than B, so let's suppose we are taking B 100. So what value we should take about A? See, we have to check the extremes. We have to check the extremes means like uh, uh, we know we have considered the value of P as 100. So let's take the A's value like 110 in first case and keep uh, B value same and take the value of A 200. So here difference is less, here difference is large. So through it, we will see what's the value of P and Q we are getting, right? So what the p value we will get from this so p will be 40 percent of a the 40 percent of this will be 44 plus 65 percent of p so this will be 65 so the total will be 109 and what will be the value of q q will be 50 percent of a so this will be 55 right and 50 percent of b b is 100 so 50 percent of b will be 50 so what value we are getting? 105. So in this case, P is greater than Q. In our first case, what we received? P is greater than Q. Right, so P is equal to Q. This is, we can cancel this one. And Q is greater than P. We can also cancel this. Right. Now let's assume this second case where we are taking A value is 200 and B value is 100. So what will be the P here? P will be 40% of 40% of 200, right? Plus 65% of B. So it will be 80 plus 65 is equal to 145. And what will be the value of Q here from this? 50% of A, 50% of A will be 100 and 50% of B, B value is 100. So what will be the 50% of B? It will be 50. So Q is 150. So here we are getting Q greater than P because P is 145 and Q is 150. Right. So this is also we can cancel. So none of the above can be concluded with certainty. So this is our answer because in the one case we are getting P is greater than Q. In the other case, we are getting Q is greater than P. Okay. So this is a good question and UPSC normally nowadays asking this type of question. So you should be smart enough, right? Fine. If you still having any problem, you can comment and you can ask us, right?